seems to me that you ants are forgetting your place. So let's double the order of food. Huh? No, but, but, but... We'll be back at the end of the season when the last leaf falls. Hopper's demand for food from the ants every year could constitute as blackmail as he says they will lose protection if they do not comply. However, it is more likely the threat is of violence from the grasshoppers themselves, which would make it extortion instead. Puny? Say, let's pretend this grain is a puny little ant. Did that hurt? <laughs> nope. Well, how about this one? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Dang, he really just killed three people just to make a point. You just lost. Not one ant sleeps until we get every scrap of food on this island! Just do what he says. You don't want to make a man. Didn't you hear, Hopper? After the ants pick all the food, he's gonna squish the queen to remind him who's boss. <gasps> then she's dead, they cry, boo-hoo, we go home, end of story. Oh, cool. And you know it, don't you? See, you're not going anywhere. Oh, yeah? And who's gonna stop us? Buzz! You're back! Hoo-ya! Buzz? Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. Look out! Oh. Oh. We are prisoners disabled, Commander Lotso. Though his means of switching Buzz to his demo mode could be conceived as a crime, it isn't possible in the real world, which means it has no mention in the law. However, he had no right to arrest and imprison and these toys, so he will be getting 12 years per toy. I was there when Lotso got unwrapped. Daisy's parents must have had to spend a lot to get all those Christmas presents. If only they knew the best place to get deals, which is Timu. Timu is a shopping app which provides you with near endless line of items which you can buy at great prices along with fast shipping. You want a drone? Here's loads of drones at very affordable prices just for you. How about a laptop, keyboard, mouse, wow that's so cheap. And the cool luminous sword? Frickin' lightsaber for just $25! Given that I charge villains, it only makes sense I get a mallet, round base, and a lawyer wig for the courtroom, and a Nintendo Switch for when I get home and I got a blind kill. But wait, the Switch is kinda expensive. Well, if you get the Switch on the Timu app, with my discount code DKE2769, it will cost you just $279. Now that's a steal. And if you already have a Switch, or you just wish to buy something else, my code also provides 50% off for anyone that uses it. To use my code, simply click on the link in the description to download Teemu, then apply my code within one hour after you download. What's that, you just got charged with tax fraud by a random guy on the internet? Well be sure to get yourself a filing box so you can keep track of your taxes and not get charged again silly. So again, that's code DKA2769 on the Timu app, or the link in the description to get $25 off $50. Thank you Timu for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the charges. But Lotso wasn't my friend anymore. He took over Sunnyside and rigged the whole system. Lotso takes over the daycare and sets up a dictatorship which leaves the new toys prisoners and forcing them to be played with very roughly by the little kids. This would give him a usurpation charge and also a lot of false imprisonment charges. However, since we don't know how long he's been doing it for or for how many toys, we'll simply give it to him en masse and give him a life sentence. Well, well, look who's back. I'm sorry, cowboy. <gasps> they 
broke me. The Rescue Doctrine states under a situation where an individual negligently puts another in peril, a duty to rescue will arise for that individual. Lotso, I believe, falls under this law since, yes, they were already in danger of the incinerator. However, what Lotso did made it worse by having them come closer to the edge in order to give him a boost up to that button, which he chose out of spite not to push. You could make the case that Woody, Buzz and all the rest would not have fallen into the incinerator had it not been for the actions of Lotso. Even if that is a stretch since they were already on the conveyor belt to begin with, you could make the point that Lotso is the reason they're there to begin with, given that he did pull Woody into the bin. And even if that's a stretch, Lotso tried to push them in earlier. There's just no way out for this guy. Give him the charge. You're out of your box! I tried reasoning with you, Woody, but you keep forcing me to take extreme measures. Okay, Woody, let's go! Oh. Ooh. Take that, space toy! Your choice, Woody. You can go to Japan together or in pieces. If he fixed you once, he can fix you again. Now get in the box! Never! Fine. I would move heaven and earth for you, mi amigo. Salud! You walked me to the train station. But I felt a pain in my stomach. I thought it must have been something I ate. Perhaps it was that chorizo, my friend. Or something I drank. I woke up dead. All this time, I thought it was just bad luck. I never thought that you might have. That you. Under Title 17, Section 506 of the US Code, it states any person who willfully infringes a copyright shall be punished if committed for the purposes of commercial advantage. He will get the maximum penalty of five years along with a 250 grand fine. You rats! Have him taken care of. He, he's not well. I just wanted to go back home! No! Extending his stay. What? But I'm your family! And Hector was my best friend. No! Ah! He will receive false imprisonment for locking up Hector and Miguel. He will also receive an extra first degree attempted murder charge since he knew by doing this he would be condemning Miguel to death. I am Ernesto de la Cruz, the greatest musician of all time. Hector's the real musician. You're just the guy who murdered him and stole his soul. Murdered? I am the one who's willing to do what it takes to seize my moment. Whatever it takes. Ah! Ah! Carl, these people who uh, pass through here, they all tell pretty good stories. A surveyor making a map. A botanist cataloging plants. An old man taking his house to Paradise Falls. I 
That's the best one yet. I can't wait to hear how it ends. It's heavily implied here that Charles murdered the surveyor and the botanist because he thinks they are trying to take the bird. A result of years of isolation at Paradise Falls has caused him to go mad. Under section 16 of the Firearms Act, it is stated that it is an offence for a person to have in his possession any firearm or ammunition with intent to endanger life. I will give him the median sentence of 11 years. Just wanted to thank you all for the recent support on my videos. It really does mean a lot. And we're closing in on 200,000 subscribers. So if you could subscribe, I really would appreciate it. And also, if you want to get good deals on your online shopping and support the channel as well, you can click the link in the description or use my code on TMU, DKE2769. Thanks for watching. See you next time.